Okay, is this thing on? All right. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the College of an Atmospheric and Geographic Sciences Convocation. My name is Caitlin Frost. I'm the outreach coordinator here at the College of the National Weather Center, and it is my pleasure to serve as your host for the college's 15th annual convocation. As a reminder, we do have face masks available at your check-in desk. We encourage you all to wear a mask while indoors this evening. I would like to ask audience members who are able, please stand for the processional. And now we present the College of Atmospheric and Geographic Sciences Fall 2021 graduating class. Thank you, everybody. You may all be seated this time. We are very happy that so many family and friends were able to join us as we celebrate this evening. I know that some of you have traveled a great distance to be here. Several of our degree candidates are from out of state. Even for the families of our native Oklahoma students, a trip to Norman can take four or five hours. On behalf of the college's faculty and staff, I thank you all for supporting your students during their time here at OU and for degree candidates, oh, I'm sorry. Thank you all for supporting your students at this time. Let's see, I'm so sorry, excuse me. Most of our undergraduate degree candidates began their studies at OU in the fall of 2017. Most of our master's and doctoral degree candidates began their studies at OU the following fall. As graduate students, the academic landscape both broadened and intensified to include more focused research, teaching, publications, field experiments, writing a thesis or dissertation, and of course, general exams. Over the past four years, the world has certainly provided us with a number of extreme natural events to study, but also made us pause due to unprecedented events in our world. But most importantly, over the last four years, you earned a degree in geography, environmental sustainability, geographic information science, or meteorology from the University of Oklahoma, and that is an accomplishment well worth celebrating, and we are very glad to be able to share it with you guys today. Dr. Barry and Moore III has served as Dean of the College of Atmospheric and Geographic Sciences since the summer of 2010. In addition to serving as our Dean, he is also Chesapeake Energy Corporation Chair in Climate Studies and the Director of the National Weather Center. Dr. Barry and Moore III is an internationally recognized Earth scientist who has been honored by National Aeronautics and Space Administration and the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. He received his Bachelor's of Science in Mathematics in 1963 from the University of North Carolina and his PhD in Mathematics in 1969 from the University of Virginia. 
He has published extensively on the global carbon cycle, biogeochemistry, remote sensing, environmental and space policy, and mathematics. In December 2016, NASA selected Geostationary Carbon Cycle Observatory, or GEOCARB, as the second Earth venture mission. Dr. Moore is the architect and principal investigator on the GEOCARB mission. Dr. Moore chaired the overarching scientific committee of the International Geosphere Biosphere Program from 1998 to 2002, and as such led the July 2001 Open Science Conference on Global Change in Amsterdam, and is one of the four architects of the Amsterdam Declaration on Global Change. He was the coordinating lead author for the final chapter, Advancing Our Understanding of the Third Assessment Report of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, which was released in spring 2001, and as such has been honored for contributing to the award of the 2007 Nobel Peace Prize to the IPCC. In recognition of his lifelong dedication to science, he has been the recipient of numerous honors, including the NASA Distinguished Public Service Medal for Outstanding Service to the Agency, NASA's highest civilian honor, the NOAA Administrator's Recognition Award, and the 2007 Dryden Lectureship and Research Medal by the American Institute of Aeronautics and Astronautics. In 2017, Dr. Moore received the Distinguished Alumnus Award from the University of North Carolina. He is an elected fellow of the American Meteorological Society and International Academy of Astronautics. Everyone, please welcome Dean for the College of Atmospheric and Geographic Sciences, Dr. Barian Moore III. It's interesting, uh, after two years, the mask still getting stuck in my glasses. And uh, before I begin my formal remarks, I want to uh, say something to the students. You and your uh, classmates of last year have really been through a tough road. And I am so deeply proud of you that you have uh, sailed and crossed this tough road uh, with a, a sense of humor, with good spirits, uh, with an intellect that became sharper and sharper. Uh, I know you parents are awfully proud, but uh, we are too. It's just been extraordinary. So I want to open my formal remarks by reading to you from the prologue that Carl Sandburg wrote to the family of man, the extraordinary 1955 photographic exhibit at the Museum of Modern Art in New York. Sandburg wrote, the first cry of a newborn baby in Chicago or Zambanga in Amsterdam or Rangoon has the same pitch and key. Each is saying, I am, I have, ha I have come through, I belong, I'm of the family. People flung wide and far, born into toil, struggle, blood and dreams, among lovers, eaters, drinkers, workers, loafers, fighters, players, gamblers. Here are iron workers, bridge men, musicians, Miners, builders of huts, builders of skyscrapers, jungle hunters, landlords, and landless, the loved and the unloved, the lonely and abandoned, the brutal and the compassionate, one big family hugging close to the ball of earth for its life and being. Sandberg continued, everywhere the sun, moon, and stars the climates and weathers have meanings for people. Though meanings vary, we are alike in all countries and tribes in trying to read what the sky, land, and sea are saying to us. Alike and ever alike, we are on all continents in need of love, food, clothing, work, speech, worship, sleep, games, dancing, and fun. From tropics to arctics, humanity lives with these needs so alike, so extraordinarily alike. 
These remarkable words of Carl Sandburg speak clearly to us across more than 65 years. What is the sky, land, and sea saying to us? For geographers, human and physical, for meteorologists and climatologists, for hydrographers and hydrologists, for environmental sustainability scientists, for specialists in geographic information systems and remote sensing, this understanding, this decoding of what the sky, land, and sea are saying to us is what they do. You are graduates. This is what you have been doing, and this is what you will do. You now have the special skills to listen and understand what the sky, land, and sea are saying to us. In this era of coronavirus and its aftermath, these skills are going to be in great demand. In this era of climate change, these skills are going to be in great demand. In this era of income and social disparity, these skills are going to be of great demand. And in this era of a new caring for the planet, these skills are going to be in great demand. Addressing such Grand challenges of this new era will not be easy. It will be difficult. In fact, challenges are, after all, challenges. So mistakes and setbacks will be normal. And that may be difficult for you to accept, especially for being so bright. But mistakes or why we have an eraser, uh, no, uh, mistakes are why we have a delete key on a keyboard. When faced with challenges, I go back to what a great golf teacher said, and a great life teacher, Harvey Pennock. Harvey Pennock said, take dead aim. Take dead aim. Now that does not necessarily mean you will hit your target, or even stay in the fairway. Even when you take dead aim, you will go into sand traps. But that is why you have sand wedges. That is why you have the delete key. Mistakes will happen. That's part of the challenge. Another lesson for Pennock, in golf, your strengths and weaknesses will always be with you. If you could improve upon your weaknesses, then your game would improve. The irony is people like to practice their strengths. Going forth, work on your weaknesses. If calculating integrals is a need but a weakness, then practice it. It can be fun. In fact, as a mathematician, I find it fascinating that the integral is, so to speak, the inverse of the derivative. It, it can be fun. If speaking French is a need, but it's a weakness, then don't you want to be able to say a loud we oui if someone asks you, parlez-vous français? Practice on your weaknesses. When Sandberg wrote in The Family of Man, one big family hugging close to the ball of earth for its life and being, one is reminded of a powerful photograph, that of the earth rise above the lunar horizon, taken on the 24th of December in 1968 on the Apollo 8 mission. Upon seeing this photograph, another poet, Archibald MacLeish, said, to see the earth as we now see it, small and beautiful, in that eternal silence where it floats, is to see ourselves as riders on the earth together, brothers on that bright loveliness in the unending night, brothers who see now they are truly brothers. And I would add, and sisters who see now they are truly sisters. And what do we see when we gaze upon that remarkable image? We see the sky, land, and sea. And we seek to know what they are saying. This is essential. Keep seeking the messages. And, to and together we can keep this ball of earth, 
capable of providing a healthy life for all families and all lives. We wish you well. Godspeed. Congratulations. There's a lot of pages to flip through, sorry. Thank you, Dean Moore. Before we present our degree candidates, I would like to introduce the faculty and our administrative staff. You may all hold your applause until all names are announced. Faculty and staff, please stand briefly to be recognized when your name is called. Dr. Robert Palmer, Tommy C. Craighead Chair in the School of Meteorology, Associate Vice President for Research and Partnerships, and Executive Director of Advanced Radar Research Center. Dr. Tom Miller, Research Assistant Professor of the Department of Geography and Environmental Sustainability and a faculty affiliate in sociology. Dr. Lauren Mullenbach, Assistant Professor of the Department of Geography and Environmental Sustainability. Dr. Ming Shui, Weather News Chair Professor, George Lynn Cross Research Professor in the School of Meteorology and Director of the Center for Analysis and Prediction of Storms. Dr. Eleanor Martin, Associate Professor and Associate Director for Undergraduate Studies of the School of Meteorology. Dr. Bruce Hoagland, Professor and Associate Chair of the Department of Geography and Environmental Sustainability, Coordinator of the Oklahoma Natural Heritage Inventory. Dr. Scott Green, Professor and Chair of the Department of Geography and Environmental Sustainability. Thank you all for attending this evening. And now it is my pleasure to introduce Aisha Awusu, our Assistant Dean of the College of Atmospheric and Geographic Sciences, who will present our degree candidates and give the alumni charge. Awusu is an alumna of the School of Meteorology, receiving her Bachelor of Science of Meteorology in 2007 and her Master of Science in Climatology at Columbia University in 2015. After a career in private weather consulting for the FAA and Weather News America, she served as a DEI specialist at Goldman Sachs in London for two years before becoming a career development advisor for an NWC-based DEI nonprofit, helping high-performing and achieving students of color prepare for the rigor, cultural nuances, fit, competitiveness, and rewards and disappointments of corporate America. After obtaining her master's degree, she served as a health and climate associate researcher and deputy lead of Senegal and Ethiopia for adapting agriculture to climate today for tomorrow project. Within the International Research Institute for Climate and Society within Columbia's University's Earth Institute. She also moonlights as a health and climate consultant for the World Meteorological Organization and World Health Organization, where she works with African meteorological agencies to help improve the quality, availability, accessibility, and use of climate data, and uses these climate services, products, and tools to help countries interpret and integrate climate data into sound health policy. Please welcome Assistant Dean Awusu. Thank you, Caitlin, and thank you to everyone who's here tonight. We're finally at the moment that our students have worked so hard for, graduation. Since this is a joyous time, shouts of joy are entirely appropriate. Those people who said they were gonna yell at the back of the stage, that's fine too. Those of you who wish to take pictures, you may do so, but please note that professional photographers are here from Norman Party Picks, and they'll take a picture of each student as they're receiving their diploma. So now I'm going to welcome Dr. Scott Green and Dr. Bruce Holgan, who will join Dean Moore in congratulating degree recipients from the Department of Geography and Environmental Sustainability. Now I'll present those who are earning a Bachelor's of Arts in Environmental Sustainability. Megan Kaur.
Dennis Weigetau. Jamie Hellwedge. Erica Cronenberger with distinction. We'll now be introducing those who are earning a Bachelor of Science in Environmental Sustainability. Joseph P. Howerton with a minor in meteorology. Logan Reese with a minor in military science. I'll now be introducing those earning a Bachelor of Science in Environmental, a Bachelor of Science in Geography. Andrea Craig with a minor in Geographic Information Science. Emma Lenderos with a minor in broadcast meteorology. Now for those who are earning a Bachelor of Arts in Geographic Information Science, Brooke Graybo with a minor in weather and climate. Grant McNutt. Now those earning a Bachelor of Science in Geographic Information Science. John Houghton with a minor in Geography. Christopher Masters with a minor in meteorology. Congratulations to all of our new graduates from the Department of Geography and Environmental Sustainability. We'd now like to ask Dr. Eleanor Martin to join Dean Moore in congratulating degree recipients from the School of Meteorology. Earning a Master's of Science in Meteorology, Margaret Hollis. Dr. Eleanor Martin served as Margaret's faculty advisor. Vivek Chenoy. (laughs) 
Dr. Keith Brewster served as Vivek's faculty advisor. However, he was called away on emergency, so Dr. Eleanor Martin will stand in his stead. Now, for those earning doctoral degrees in meteorology, Siddhant Gupta. Dr. Greg McFarquhar served as Sidhan's faculty advisor, but he's currently driving here at this moment. Thus, Sid will be hooded by Dr. Martin in his stead. And now, Mauricio Irja de Oliveira. <laughs> Mauricio will be hooded by his faculty advisor, Dr. Ming Zhui. Congratulations, Dr. Gupta and Dr. Ija de Oliveira. Graduates, we encourage you to remain connected to the college of alum to the college as alumni as you move through life. The College of Atmospheric and Geographic Sciences proudly recognizes the members of this graduating class for your courage to persevere and for the respect and the civility you demonstrated while you achieved your goals. Your educational journey may be culminating here, but now you begin a new journey in your professional endeavors. Please know that you are joining a prestigious group of alumni with whom you share a common bond. The alumni group you joined today is larger than any class you have ever taken and spans every corner of the world. There are alumni living in every state and in 117 countries around the globe. Be proud of what you have accomplished as you look to join those who came before you. Look back fondly to your years you spent here and look forward to what your life will bring you and part of the result of what you have learned here at OU. Our staff members, your professors, these courses, this college, and this university have given you the tools for you to succeed on your own. Look to your right and look to your left, except for those who are on the end. You have done it. <laughs> it is now up to you to show the world what a Sooner is really made of. On this day, as you transition from students to alumni, we hope you remember your college experience with pride. We ask that you look for opportunities to stay involved with your alma mater and connect it to the people and the places in which you meet along the way. We are actively building our young alumni group that will champion our events across the country and we challenge you to be a part of this endeavor. Look for upcoming newsletters, information, email, informational emails, and events in your area. With that, we ask you to stay in touch, share your stories and your milestones, and be a shining example of the innovation that comes from being an alumnus of this amazing college. We are your extended family, and we want to share in your moments. I wish you all the very best in your future endeavors, both personally and professionally. I charge you to continue to do your best in all that you choose to do. It is my honor to officially welcome you to the Welcome the fall 2021 graduating class into the College of Atmospheric and Geographic Sciences Alumni Association. Congratulations.
Before we close this evening, would everyone who is able please stand and join us in singing the Oklahoma chant. Um, if you are able to view the digital program, the words are there, but no worries. It's recorded for us, so you can just mouth the words. No worries. Thank you. Graduates, would you please remain standing while the rest of the audience takes their seats? This is the fun part. <laughs> Graduates, as a symbol of your newly acquired status, I ask that you now move your tassel from the right side of your motor board to the left. Congratulations again. Uh, we hope that you all will be able to join us for the reception following our program. Congratulations once again to our new graduates. Enjoy the reception, the museum exhibits, and have a safe trip home and a wonderful holiday season.